Hello, I was talking to one of my students last week about Present Perfect and she asked if I had a board about how long questions and I didn't. I thought I had, but I don't have one, so I've decided to do one. It relates mostly to Present Perfect, but there's a few things you need to know relating to other tenses. So let's get into it. It might sound like a simple thing, but um, there are things that you need to know. So I've got here fact and duration. Now this is only for this section here, okay? So here's a fact. I teach English. That's present simple, okay? That is a fact. It's present simple. I teach English. You teach English. He, she teaches English. We teach, you teach, they teach English, okay? But if you want to tell someone the duration of that said action, then you would say, I have been teaching English for 14 years. And there's a tick there to say that is correct, okay? You can't say, I teach English for 14 years. You can't just say, I teach English, and then the duration. You have to change to present perfect. And in this case, continuous. Why? Because it's just more normal, it sounds better, and it's grammatically correct, okay? Now, here's another example of a sentence, a fact. I am studying Spanish. That's present continuous now. I am studying Spanish. You are studying Spanish. He, she is studying Spanish. We are studying Spanish. They are studying Spanish, okay? But if you want to tell someone how long, then you have to change to present perfect continuous. Again, just like this one. I have been studying Spanish for six months. You cannot say, I am studying Spanish for six months. Okay, so that's wrong. The blue ones are wrong. Um, the blue ones are right here. <laughs> the blue ones are wrong here, okay? So the facts are the, these. These are the facts. But this is how you tell someone the duration. Now, if you want to ask a question of duration, we come into the category of how long have you? Okay, present perfect. Now it could be simple, it could be continuous. As I said, continuous is more normal for your normal active verbs. You would use present perfect continuous. For example, how long have you been teaching English? Okay, I have been teaching English for 14 years. All right, how long have you taught English? I say less common because I have heard people speak like this. See, truthfully, it's wrong, but let's just say it's less common, okay? I don't want to make them feel bad. How long have you taught English? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I, I have taught English for 14 years. It's not there, but I have taught English for 14 years. Mm -mm -mm. So avoid the simple when you're talking about how long with regular uh, active verbs, okay? Action verbs, you know. How long have you been teaching English? I have been teaching English for 14 years. How long have you been studying Spanish? I have been studying Spanish for six months. How long have you studied Spanish? No. I have studied Spanish for six months? No. Okay, so there you go. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of verbs. Uh, have been studying. There's three verbs. Okay, you've got your perfect infinitive. You don't have to use, actually, no, let's not talk about the perfect infinitive, because you can say how long has she or how long has he. I fooled myself there. You have your infinitive here, have, and then been, that's your past participle, and then your continuous verb. Again, have been teaching, okay? That little section there that I just talked about, don't worry about that too much, because that's been covered in other classes, okay? Whew. Right, now. There are such things as stative verbs. I said a moment ago, these are active or action verbs. Okay, action verbs is probably a better way to describe them. But there are also stative verbs, which refer to states or situations rather than actions. For example, a typical state would be have for possession. Okay, that's a state. You, you don't say I'm having a bicycle. You can, of course, you could say I'm having lunch. But that's not a state, okay? Um, that's not possession. We say have for possession. So you don't possess the lunch, okay? You can get it. Well, it's my lunch, okay? Yeah, I get it. But I have a bicycle, not I am having a bicycle, okay? I have 
You can also use this rule for relationships. I have a sister. I'm having a sister. No. I have a girlfriend. Yes, I'm having a girlfriend. No. And also for illnesses. I have a headache. I'm having a headache. No. Okay. No. For example, how long have you known Jackie? You cannot say how long have you been knowing Jackie because with stative verbs, we use the simple because they are generally considered non-continuous. Not all stative verbs are non-continuous, but most of them are. For example, have for possession is non-continuous. No is non-continuous. Think for opinion is non-continuous. For example, um, I think it's a great idea. I'm thinking it's a great idea. <laughs> but think for uh, contemplation is continuous. For example, shh, I'm thinking. That's okay, but that's not opinion. That's consideration or contemplation. Uh, believe is non-continuous. I believe you. I am believing you. Nah. These are non um, These are mostly non-continuous and stative. They refer to situations rather than ongoing actions. Believe. Uh, I've just done that one. Be. I am uh, English. Not I am being English. Okay. I like. Now. Uh, a lot of people use liking because of um, there are some strange rules about it, but really it's a non contest For example, I like cheesecake. I'm liking cheesecake? Nah. And understand. I understand. No, I am understanding. Although I am understanding is correct, but it's an adjective. For example, I am an understanding person. For example, you can tell me I'm understanding. That's okay, but that's different, okay? That's that's the adjective, not the verb. How long have you known Jackie? Yes. How long have you been knowing Jackie? No. How long have you had a bicycle? Yes. How long have you been having a bicycle? No. And live and work, actually, it doesn't matter if you use the simple or the continuous with live or work, okay? How long have you lived in Scotland? How long have you... Been living in Scotland. Both okay, both acceptable. Uh, but remember, when you're making the statement, I have been living in a uh, in Scotland, or I have lived in Scotland for blah blah blah, or since blah blah blah. How long have you worked there? How long have you been working there? Okay, both correct. I have worked there for. I have worked there since. I have been working there for. I have been working there since. Have I done a video with for or for and since? I think I probably have. But for is for uh, duration, for six months, for two years, for one week, for six minutes. Since is when it started. Since July, since 1999, since October, since last year, since breakfast. Okay. I hope that all made sense. I think there was a little section in the middle that I could have probably just not said. But there you go. So I hope it's very useful. Please subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Like, hit thumbs up, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or doubts, and uh, share this with anyone you know who's learning English. Have a lovely day. I'll see you soon for another video.